بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ایکسپلورنگ دا فورتھ لرننگ پیتھ ڈپلوائے اینڈ مینٹین ایسٹس ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کور دا ٹاپک اسائن ورک اسپیس رولس وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن کریٹ اینڈ مینیج ورک اسپیسز اینڈ ایسٹس ان دا پریویس ویڈیو وی کریٹڈ اینڈ کنفگرڈ اے ورک اسپیس ان پاور بی آئی سروس so now let's see what are the different roles that can be assigned in a workspace like i explained in the previous video that you need to have a shared workspace in order to share anything with the other users inside of power bi service so uh, once you have different users then only the users which have been assigned one of these roles they can have access to the workspace so first you create a workspace and then you define the access to that workspace and you can give access to any person within the organization and that person can have either of these roles so the first role is the viewer role so this is the lowest role or the role which has the lowest privileges inside a workspace so a viewer can view workbooks reports and dashboards but it cannot access data sets data flows or edit any content so what a viewer can do is that it can just play around with the reports but does not have the capability to either edit anything or to access the data sets data flows or uh, or some of or editing some of the content so we are going to talk about these data sets data flows in in future videos but the only thing to remember here is that the viewer role is the one which has only the rights to just interact with your reports and dashboards and cannot edit or change anything in the workspace the next highest role after the viewer one is the contributor role so a viewer whatever uh, privileges a viewer has uh, a contributor has those those privileges and in addition to the, the 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 privileges that a viewer has then these are some of the things that a contributor can do so a contributor can publish create edit and delete content however a contributor cannot add people to new roles in the workspace or modify any of the members in the workspace a contributor can share content if it has it has been previously shared but it can but but cannot share new content so these are the uh, the roles associated with the with the contributor the next higher role is the role which is called as a member so member has all the privileges of a contributor plus the member has the privilege to add members or users with lower permission level so a member can add a contributor or a viewer to a workspace however it can uh, it cannot add members or users with higher permission levels like we are going to uh, see that admins only can do that then the member has the 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 privilege to publish and update apps share an item or app this this can uh, this a member can do so anything uh, inside uh, uh, inside the workspace uh, can be shared by the member and it also has the privilege to to allow others to reshare so if, if it allows uh, others to uh, reshare some content then the member has the privilege to actually do that and the highest role for any workspace is the role of a workspace admin so an admin has everything that is associated with the member plus the admin can update and delete workspaces so you need to be an admin to actually create workspaces and then the admin also has the rights to add or remove all other users including admin so if you are a power bi if you are a power bi workspace admin then you can add other people and you can also assign them as admins so admin is the role uh, is the role that has every uh, you know possible privilege inside a workspace so these are the four roles that you need to keep in mind and you have to now uh based upon whatever is the hierarchy of your organization or whatever is the hierarchy for that particular workspace you can assign the roles inside of power bi workspace so now let's go to the power bi service and uh, provide access to different users based upon uh, the, the the roles that we have just seen so i am in the power bi workspace right now so i am inside the same workspace that i created in the previous video and now i am going to 
click on manage access to actually see what uh, what you know role assignment i can do so here you, you see that there is a new window that has been opened and clearly uh, the admin uh, like oh, i am the admin because i created this so this is the role that is already created but now i can add or add people or even groups inside the workspace so if i just click here on add here it gives me the option to actually add people based on the email addresses that are there on the domain. So anybody who is inside the, the Power BI domain on which the Power BI service account is working, I can just add a few emails and then I can assign the uh, role to that email. So let me just add a couple of uh, people here. So here you can see that I just added one of the users on this particular domain and i have uh, i have just entered the email and then the user has uh, actually uh, the, the the email address came up and i have added that user so now you i can add as many users as i want and then here i can assign any of the roles that i want so if i want to add this particular user then i just need to you know set the uh, the the role here role assignment here and then i just need to click on add and now if I go back and I see here that I have an, a user who has been provided the viewer access for this particular bus, workspace. So this way you can add as many users as you want. But remember that you need to uh, just keep in mind that what are the roles associated with each of the what are the what are the privileges associated with with each of the roles that we just saw because you might be asked a question related to some of these roles. So that's all for this particular video and I'll catch up with you in the next one.